Good evening. Welcome to the women's basketball semifinal number one postgame press conference um, at the 2016 SSC basketball tournament. We are joined here by the University of Tampa, coached by Tom Jesse, uh, student athletes Juliana Caballero and Ellen Nermi. Uh, the Spartans defeated Nova Southeastern 73-63 to advance to the championship final where they will play the winner of Florida Tech or Florida Southern. Uh, tomorrow, March 6th at 4 p.m. here at the ICI Center. Just to note, the 5-1 upset is the third in conference history. Opening statements about the game, Coach. Well, I, I would say that you know, our league's become a league where I, I don't notice there's such a thing as an upset anymore. There's so much parity in our league. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously that's, that's only going to continue to change. I'd like to say congratulations to Nova on outstanding uh, season, uh, regular season champs. Um, that's uh, that's a that, back to back at that. That's a feat in itself. Uh, something I'm sure they're very proud of. Um, I thought both basketball teams you, you saw were, played quality <coughs> minutes. You know, it was a it was a, a game of runs. You know, uh, we we stretched a little bit of a lead, and they uh, you knew they're not going to go away. They're they're too good for that. They they battled back. We answered that run. I thought, and then uh, I was real proud of our kids down the stretch. I thought uh, we took care of the basketball uh, when we needed to made free throws down the stretch that you have to to close out these kind of games. And uh, our defense was, was pretty good where it needed to be. Uh, when you're playing this kind of team with that kind of firepower, uh, there's players all over the court that can score. But I thought our kids did a good job in carrying our game plan. Um, these two teams, we played each other, it seems like, uh, nearly every year now in the, in the tournament. And um, so it's, uh, it, it's, I'm real proud of our players. Um, Nova's in the region. They already knew that. Uh, my, our kids are playing with purpose. Um, we got to win it to get in it. We know that. These kids know that. Um, so we will play that way. Uh, we have played that way for a couple weeks now, and we'll have to do it again tomorrow, regardless of who wins this game out here. Open it up for questions, Danny. Uh, Coach, can you just talk about the lineup you used in this one tonight? I, mean, I called your game back on Wednesday against <coughs> Barry, and I noticed you went with a, a different lineup out there tonight. Was that just something you saw that you thought would work? Well, we, you know, we have to play different lineups. You know, Barry is a much different team, such fantastic scoring forwards, really, uh, and, and posts can really stretch the floor. So we obviously play, and we're going to play our big against their big right when Wright's in, 34's in, she's a handful. We're going to play our big against that lineup. Um, uh, we started uh, uh, Candace tonight, Martino, at, at the other guard spot because she's been the kid who's guarded Monet the uh, last couple of years for us. So familiarity. Uh, was the big thing there, but we had to play a lot of different lineups. You know, we played small ball, they played small ball. Uh, at times there was five, there was ten guards out there, <laughs> a couple of times between the two teams. So um, we we were versatile enough and need to be versatile enough to do that. And so uh, that was probably the I thought was the factor for us. If we weren't able to play that with that versatility, then uh, they gained an advantage there. Obviously, can you talk about that matchup down low? How you thought that went for you guys? Well, I mean, I, I, there's two big kids. You know, uh, uh, both those kids, Wright's player of the year for a reason. She's uh, the most productive kid for the shortest amount of minutes that she plays in the entire country. And one, one, one of the most I've ever seen as a coach. I've been at 31 years. And that's a, a tribute to her. She seals you so well. Uh, I thought McVeigh battled down in there. You look at the kid's got 24 points, and I'm trying to tell McVeigh she did a good job defense. I might retract that when I get back in. But, uh, no, I thought Taylor, other than maybe one or two baskets, made her earn those. There were some tough baskets for her to get down in there. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought Taylor did a good job of holding her own and gave us quality minutes against that size that we needed to. Alan, you were able to get to the basket a lot in this one. Was that something you, you saw going into this game that was something you were going to be able to do? Um, you know, no. I kind of just have to let the game come to me. And tonight I saw some gaps, and um, I'm even though I'm, I'm tall, I'm a quicker player, so I try to utilize that. And, you know, as... As they said previously, they had the battle down low, so they were more focused on, on you know each other, which left, left a gap under the basket. So, that's what I would say. And uh, just just for both of the students, um, just talk about the run that you're on here, I and mean, knowing you, you probably need to, to win it all to go to, to the next tournament. Um, just talk about the run you guys are on, the two games you've won so far. Go ahead, I'll go. Um, well, obviously, we know what's on the line, and we know that how important every single game is. And I just think right now we're really coming together as a team, and it's all starting to click for us right now. I mean, we've had some really good games this year and some not-so-good games, and I think we're right now kind of peaking as a team, which is the greatest time to peak. 
and we're just trying to look to continue our little streak right here and we're looking forward to the game tomorrow. Uh, yeah, our senior class, um, Alvarez, McVeigh, Julian, and me, we were already uh, played in a regional championship before. So I think us um, four definitely have to show um, show the team that we know what it takes and um, try to guide everyone to the right right um, to the right direction. Uh, we have a lot of faith in our team, and we believe we can do it. Question, Sean. Julian, you've been here for four years now. Yes. You talked about the rivalry that you guys have with Nova Southeastern, how it's like so many great games you guys have played. We've definitely played each other a lot over the past four years, and there's definitely a lot of familiarity between the two teams. And, I mean, every time you play Nova, you know it's going to be a good game. I mean, by this point, after four years, you're kind of used to their style of play. You know what they're going to do, what they're trying to do. And, I mean, they're a great team, and I just think, like, today was just one of those other good matchups that we've had with them, and we ended up on top today. Final questions? Thank you, Tim. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.